Whenever I go to floor and decor, I usually wander around until I feel like everything has been unturned. My brain is a living Pinterest board, which means I love to categorize things by aesthetics and styles. Every which way you turn, there is inspiration galore. If you're having trouble trying to find inspiration for a space that you're doing, believe me, you guys, it is everywhere you look. You just have to pay attention to what grabs your attention. It could be in a form of a painting or a statue. Anything that grabs your attention, use that as inspiration. This tile, this tile grabbed my attention very quickly. In my opinion, this marble tile is timeless with its unique gorgeous blue hexagon mosaic and white veining and it has a polished high gloss finish giving the space a great sense of elegance. Demo day! I'm not sure why I get nervous during this process although I've been through it several times and it's exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time to see it unfold and put back together. Frank explained each step to me and that's important. You know when you have a good contractor when he communicates with you every step of the way. Right. So this is three inches. Mm -hmm. So the tile bringing it up, the flush up, and the water. Um... Keep talking. <laughs> and the water gets up here. It's going to overflow your drink. At least it's going to be crazy anyhow because you're going to have a trash or whatever. But it's going to overflow. So this is why I was telling you my assumption is let's bring this one here. Okay. I know you might say that's a little step higher. He's now doing a placement check of the linear drain before pouring the concrete. I got to determine how thick. I want it to be at least an inch and a half thick of cement. Right. And we're coming from three inches. So, yeah. so I need to see. And then, yeah, got to be lower. But what we're doing right now is called sloping. So we're just sloping the shower pan with uh, about two inches uh, three to about three inches of concrete bedding mm -hmm. to about an uh, inch and a half slope. So um, that's what we're doing so that the water can run off the tiles and that's what all the prep work is for. That's right. Was it genius? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> Stay tuned, you guys. Kind of like you're doing something. Get on the Bing. Ball, ball, <laughs> hey, Bingy. Hey. This is Frank Sidekick. <laughs> I like him better than Frank. He's nice. <laughs> Doesn't give me no issues. I'm sorry, honey. I'm in, I'm in no, the way. You're not. I'm just checking out. Okay. You guys are doing a beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. See, everybody? Frank started on the floor first before he did the shower pan, but now he's doing the wall. And the plan is to put some of this beautiful tile on that niche. What you think, Bingy? I think it's gonna look nice. I think so too. Yeah. I it think so. How you, I guess with the trim. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. That's go ahead, bring it out too. Oh yeah. Yeah, make it pop. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Oh, you know, <laughs> this is it, you guys. So it's it's very time consuming because we're working with marble. So I think he has to cut with, if I'm not mistaken with a diamond blade um it's kind of tricky but frank you know he's the man for the job but i could actually start to see it come together you guys frank delivered we couldn't be more happier with the results it's actually better than we imagined take a minute and take it all in before i nosedive into giving you all the details Blue is often associated with feelings of calmness and serenity, and that's the vibe that I had previously. 
our wall color was blue, but I decided to make a little change by putting a pop of color on the ceiling and carrying that same color onto the interior door, giving it so much personality. I wanted the illusion of having marble everywhere. So here's my golden tip I wanna share with you. If you want a high-end look and you're on a budget, mix high and low materials. Example, I use porcelain tiles on the wall and decorative tiles on the niche shower pan and the floor. Mixing marble and porcelain gave me a high-end look that I wanted without paying that high dollar price. I went a little on the edge using gold opposed to using polished chrome like we did in our other two bathrooms, but mixing metals warms up a room and it gives it a transitional feel. Is that all of the finishes in the bathroom are gold, but all gold isn't created equal in color that is. This wall mounted brass ladder towel rack is from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. I love this ladder style towel rack that has three bars for hanging multiple towels. My only hiccup was the finish was more of a dark brass and I needed a cooler gold if that makes sense. I'm telling you there is nothing that a can of gold spray paint can't handle. Everything is a process. The glass people are on their way to install the half wall glass. So I've been waiting for that for a long time. <laughs> now things is, everything is hurry up to wait. So they're gonna be installing it on this side of the wall. Um, and it's gonna go where that middle tile is right here. That's where it's gonna stop so and the reason why i had that half wall glass is because i didn't want the door to hit the glass when you when they come in finally installed my choice to have a tempered glass shower partition makes the room feel a whole lot larger allowing more light into the space now there is an attractive cost benefit involved here half wall shower glass enclosures do not require panels on all sides, which can greatly reduce the cost. Shower niche is a must. Its primary advantage is to keep your products organized, but it also provides a dedicated space to store all of your shower essentials, keeping them within easy reach during your bathing routine. Now, no more reaching out for bottles on the floor, but if you're about to do a renovation and you have a shower, I highly suggest adding one of these. We have them in all of our bathrooms and I'm telling you I have no regrets. Be My Guest with Denise was created so I can share how you can make your guests not only feel loved and welcomed but I wanted them to feel like they're on vacation. So Frank installed this rainfall shower system so our guests can enjoy this 20 inch rainfall shower head along with this handheld shower so our guests can experience the ultimate shower. I've tailored the look by adding this ocean vanity with Carrera marble top. It played a huge role in my overall design, making sure everything ties in. It's blue with green undertones, so it kind of plays with the light it pins. It has two doors and the hardware came with it as well. One drawer and one shelf. The white undermount sink came with it too. There's something about old style faucets that I just love and that's why we went with the traditional style widespread faucet. It's from Home Depot and we have a similar style in our other guest bath. In case you missed it, I'll leave that link down below. The motion light under the sink, however, did not come with it. It was an Amazon find. Added this round, energy efficient touchscreen LED mirror with dimmable lights. Definitely an ideal addition to any bathroom. It has a clock with anti fog function during showering. Plus, a simple touch of the switch, you can turn on the lights and adjust the color temp. It's definitely an upgrade from our last mirror. Artwork was chosen carefully. I wanted to make sure I got something that was glass or ceramic because it's unlikely to mildew or warp. But this artwork is from Home Goods and I purchased it months ago ago way before I even started the reno my apologies in advance for not having a link when looking for creative storage try looking outside the box this two-tier shelf has upper and lower shelves now you may clearly see it for jewelry or makeup but I totally see it being used as a place to put hand towels on the bottom and when guests are washing their hands they could put their jewelry on the top double duty decor or you can use it to place your favorite hand soap and lotion. You already know, mine is from William Sonoma. 
my ick and my pet peeve is seeing that nasty toilet brush. Yes, I know you can buy those disposable ones, but they can get costly very quickly. Invisibrush? Mm-hmm. This toilet brush is my new BFF. This brush is just like the standard ones, except you hide it. A hanger suspends behind the toilet, so the toilet brush and holder caddy won't take up your valuable floor space. When it's time to clean, just tilt the handle to access the brush. Now since it's not sitting on the floor, sweeping and mopping is a cinch. Again, giving our guests the ultimate experience. I tried to meet all of our guests' needs and then some, but I love, love, love this drawer. It's filled with essentials for our guests, just in case they leave theirs at home. I've added some of my favorite products here just in case they wanted to try something new, but you guys know how much I love this product. It comes in a body scrub and cream and a hand cream too. There are some huge benefits for it and I'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to buy it. Everything is within easy reach where they can visibly see and help themselves and there's even products in there for men too. Y'all know I'm extra. I added this glass jewelry box that you can get from Home Goods or TJ Maxx or even Amazon, and I filled it with shower steamers. These little steamers, mm, they dissolve perfectly, filling the bathroom with an amazing scent, and it feels like you're getting a mini spa right at home. I had some room to squeeze in a few more containers filled with mini compressed towels. I shared this before on another video, but they are great for just camping or hiking. Just wet it and it expands to the size of a hand towel. How cool is that? I usually toss them in my bag and take them with me just in case. The next shelf is filled with more towels and the bottom shelf has TP. I have it in this tray that I already had because it can be a little easier for anyone who tries to reach it because things kind of get shoved in the back and it's the little things that make a big difference. The fun doesn't stop here and if you haven't already subscribed, you guys can join me over on my glamping channel at Glamping with the Coopers. Well, I'm not only sharing our camping adventures, but I'm also sharing tiny home living. I'll leave that link down below in case you want to join us and I want to thank you all for watching.